I just feel like the luckiest actress, really. I've, I've had the good fortune of being in some incredible plays and productions and very good parts, and um, I, I love my life. What can I say? You know? Lori's phenomenal. Chris is beautiful. Condola is fantastic. Straight across the board. Uh, I'm Ariel Stachel. I'm an actor in the band's visit. And uh, Edomar Moses, book writer of the band's visit. Jam Sharifi, orchestrator of the band's visit. I was initially not offered the part with David Comer, and then came in again, and again, and again. <laughs> uh, and so it was a tremendous uh, learning experience for me, but I think I grew a great deal as an actor over the process and over the course of that time. This is my first show in New York. Uh, I was just moved by this, you know, you're pulled so slowly and so, like, quietly into this uh, spell, you know, this, this sort of mirage story. And so that was really thrilling, uh, but I didn't know what the music was going to be, so it came in stages. And then I'm a, I, I've worked with Edomar Moses, I've worked at the, I, I, who I love, um, and is a, is a friend, and I, I've worked at the Atlantic and had a wonderful time at the Atlantic. And I just so admire David Yazbek. It really changed my life in a lot of ways. I think before it, I sort of looked at acting as this technical exercise um, and, and didn't always feel emotionally connected to the stuff that I was doing. And I knew that other people did, and obviously I, I had moments of, of sort of like flirting with that connection, but it always felt superficial. And this show really just dug a deep... Um, dug deep in me. And, and the best part about playing Captain Beverly Bass is that she's a real woman and she's a true pioneer for women in a male-driven career. The first female captain for American Airlines. The first female to fly the 777s, the huge jets. Um, and it feels like a privilege, especially in a moment right now in America where we are needing to focus on women's empowerment. So, we didn't want to write a show about 9-11. We wanted to write a show about how the small community in Canada responded to the events down there and how they opened their their homes and their hearts and made friends with people from around the world with strangers on this day and uh, it feels uh, you know if anything it's become more and more resonant the more time that we spent uh, you know talking about taking strangers off planes talking about bridging divides of race and religion and uh, and regional differences and we just spoke to anyone who would talk to us and we ended up living with some people for a while and we've been back twice since and once we got home uh, from Gander, we also just started Skyping with people around the world who were so gracious. My, my feeling when I first was given this project that this was a costume designer's dream, that um, you get to flex a lot of muscles, you get to uh, 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 cover a lot of periods, and, and some really beautiful, elaborate um, uh, uh, parts of history, uh, the royal the royal gowns of the Romanovs, uh, Paris in the 1920s. I mean, yeah, what's not to like? Uh, you know, it's, it's one of those shows is one of those musicals where really everybody in the cast, ensemble and principals, have to dance. And particularly in the case of the couple of the principals who are a little less used to dancing in their careers, to, to watch them grow in that way, to watch them discover new skills. And I'm happy that it found an audience right away, and, and uh, it's, we have a cast album and everything, and you know, so, and then we're moving. So to 40, we'll give a crack at off Broadway. No, <laughs> I never expected this. This was just so out of left field, and just seeing all the people that I'm nominated with. It's we were at Ars Nova. We were in an 87th Street seat theater, um, and Mimi Leanne and Rachel Chapkin are such incredible collaborators that we immediately developed a visual language that we could use. And every time the show got bigger, we were always going back to that original idea and just scaling it up appropriately. So the ideas flowed very organically. Well, I always say that the basic principle of this design is about getting the performers close to the audience. And so, you know, designing the pathways. Uh, I mean, what I did in Charlie the Chocolate Factory is really a team effort with, especially Josh Burgas and uh, the magnificent choreographer, and then Jack O'Brien, who's just such a beautiful person to work with. And a an super game ensemble, because these people are not used to doing what I do. You know, Scott Pass designed a stunningly beautiful set, but it has a ceiling over it. And so we had to figure out how to get the light into the room and make it feel natural, uh, organic to the space. Jane Greenwood's beautiful clothes. And of course the acting company.